let's look here at how we can shuffle these options. So one of the things that we can do is when we set up the quiz, instead of these responses appearing all uh, in the same order every single time the quiz is taken, and for every single individual, we can have these changed around so they appear randomly. And let's have a look at how we do that. So we're gonna go down to here, to the three spots there, and click on that. And you can see the first option is shuffle options. If we click that, we've now, um, we're gonna, we've got that selected. And then we're gonna go look at the preview just now. We can see Munich's at the, front, at the top. We've got Barcelona at the bottom. We've got Mexico in the middle. So Munich, Mexico, Barcelona, Let's just remember those. Go to preview, question four, go to preview. We're gonna scroll down. And then we can see, look, Los Angeles at the top, Mexico, Munich in the middle, Barcelona at the bottom. So it's been changed around. And the great thing about this is every time one individual takes the same quiz, these uh, options are shuffled. But also it means that student A takes the quiz, question four, those options will be shuffled. And for student B, question four, the options will be shuffled as well. So if you were doing uh, a quiz situation where students might be able to communicate with them, uh, we always say that your question four responses will be in a different order to um, the, someone else's question four. There's also a way which I'll show you in another video about how we can build up so that the questions themselves appear in a different order. So student A's question four is actually a very different question to someone else's question four. But just for now, it's just worth being aware that we can shuffle the order of the possible responses in our questions.